this is the only chart that seems to matter right now. It's the S&P 500 versus crude oil. So what's interesting about this series is that if you go back to the fourth quarter of 2014 here, where crude oil started its downward slide, then you can see that the S&P 500, that investors were interpreting that positively, uh, which is to say investors, broadly speaking, considered a, uh, a drop in oil and gasoline prices as an economic stimulus. And so um, that was viewed positively in the stock market. But something happened uh, beginning middle of last year uh, to where uh, investors started to perceive a continued drop in crude oil as being a negative. And so the correlation most recently, as you may know, is the correlation coefficient on crude to S&P 500 is about 0.95, which suggests that increasingly investors are, are, believe this global recession story, in part triggered by this collapse in crude prices. They're starting to believe that maybe there's systemic risk that will stem from this drop in crude prices and so forth. Well, uh, let me tell you, there is no systemic risk here in the United States from declining crude prices. And I'll, I'll take it from Jamie Dimon at J.P. Morgan uh, first and foremost. In other words, what, what Dimon said on the J.P. Morgan earnings conference call last week was that the major banks in this country's energy lending portfolios are de minimis. And that's the important point. Uh, be, because the whole concept of systemic risk would be, uh-oh, here we go into another 2008 uh, situation in which bank loan portfolios are stuffed full of liar loans and other uh, low-quality assets such that you're going to create a bank banking system meltdown. Uh, and, and that is not even remotely the situation today. So my, my conclusion on this chart is that at some point, the S&P 500 will decouple from crude. So to the extent crude continues to bump along at very depressed levels, I think at some point, investors are going to realize, hey, fourth quarter earnings continue to come in very strong. First quarter 2016 earnings coming in very strong and despite crude oil bumping along the bottom, which will, which will uh, be evidence then that actually this collapse in crude prices is the biggest tax cut any of us can ever remember in our investing history. So the point I'm making is that low crude prices are uh, almost unmitigated positive news. Yes, there will be pockets of weakness and, and some manufacturing is being impacted. Uh, uh, you know, there, there are oil producing regions in the United States that will be negatively impacted. E even the, on that subject though, it's interesting to note how well Texas's economy continues to do notwithstanding su significant layoffs in the oil patch. So I think that's an important point and it may be starting, uh, you know, here Friday. Um, uh, people realizing that this fourth quarter earnings season is in fact pretty darn robust notwithstanding a collapse in the contribution from the energy sector.